Today we got a package, PlayStation 4 Slim. Issue description, HDMI installed incorrectly. No video when system is turned on. Let's take a look at what was done. All the pins are actually one pin right now. And the uh, nice thing about this is there's also a wire. I do not want to make fun of the person who worked on this. He's probably watching, but you need practice. You cannot just apply a solder blob to an HDMI port and hope that everything is going to work. And on top of that, solder a wire, a nice, tiny, thin wire from that big solder blob all the way down to the filter. Let me look at the back and see what's going on. Look at this, look at the back. I'm very sure that we have missing components here. I'm extremely sure that we have missing components. I do not know what was here. I do not know if there was anything here. I do not know if there was anything here. I do not have a donor board for the PS4 Slim so I can compare and check. I'm gonna attempt to fix the HDMI port, but we do not know the end result, if it's gonna work out or not. I'm still gonna post the video just to show you what we get here at the shop. The first thing we can do is start by applying flux. I'm gonna wick off all the excess solder. Of course, we need the fume extractor. I'm concerned about the components on the back. I do not know what those components are for but we'll see. I mean, right now it's costing the customer more money to get it fixed because we have to undo what he did and we have to fix it. That's if it's fixable. If it's not fixable, the customer is still gonna have to pay a repair attempt fee. I do not know what solder was used, but this doesn't look like leaded solder. I'm at 440 degrees Celsius and I'm having a hard time removing the solder. What I'm going to do is apply low melt solder so we can lower the melting temperature and then we're going to attempt to do it that way. So that's low melt solder. The joints are already moving. And we're gonna do this side. And now just a little bit of heat, we should be able to remove this connector. Okay, and the connector came right off. So we only have one missing pad. Let's solder a new connector. And this connector is for the PS4 Slim. PS4 and PS4 Slim connectors are not the same. The PS4 HDMI port, the alignment is different. It shifts more to the left. 
because every time somebody want to order the HDMI ports off our side, they ask, is PS4 the same as the PS4 Slim? They are different. So now that the HDMI port is in place, I'm going to add plugs. So our wire is here. Okay, I just want to hold that connector in place, so let's solder a few pins. It's okay if we have bridges now, I just want to hold that connector in place. Now I'm gonna flip the board and solder the back legs and we'll come back to the front pins. Okay, get rid of the glare so we can see better. back is done very nice all right so let's add some flux and we'll go over those pins one more time make sure everything is soldered on properly Just go over them one by one. Okay. And the last thing I want to do is go over this last pin here. It's in a very tight area. Okay, that should be good. Okay, and everything is good. Let's go ahead and clean up. Then I'm going to test the pins, make sure everything's solid. And then give it to Big Boss to assemble and test. All solid. And let's check this last one here. So a connection is being made. Very nice. Okay. Big Boss assembled the motherboard and he has it plugged into the monitor. Let's see if it's gonna work. Oh, right there, right there, it's working. It's working, awesome. So the console is fixed, everything is good. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.